Hi everyone, it's Yua here, and in today's video, I'm just going to show you guys my Ulta haul that I did during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. So if you guys would like to see all of the items that I picked up, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let's right, get started. Alright, so before we get started, in case you're curious, I did complete my makeup look today using the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Eyeshadow Palette. I received this in my BoxyCharm. That video should be up, and if it is, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards for you guys in case you guys are curious how I created this look. And then also, different from the BoxyCharm, I did end up changing my lipstick, and this is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color called Simply Smoked. I thought this was very perfect and fitting for this very like grungy, vampy <laughs> fall look. So in case you don't know, also has 21 days of beauty sales that typically have like flash sales that are beauty products that are 50% off just for that 24 hour span. They also do have items that are considered hot buys that are on sale up to 40% off throughout the entire 21 days and it happens to usually twice a year. So I did pick up this Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I'm not really a primer person but I feel like especially during fall to winter, I really have to focus on that, especially like moisturizer because I have really dry skin. But um, I did pick this up because I hear so many good things about it. And it's also supposed to be um, very moisturizing and I need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. This is this was on sale for 50% off. And the next two items that I did buy was from Ofra. These are their highlighters. I did pick up the shade Blissful and Beverly Hills. This is actually the new packaging, so I'm very, very happy that I did receive it. It was actually kind of funny because Alta's online website say that packaging might vary so I guess that's a little disclaimer that you might not get this new white packaging so yeah so this is blissful this is supposed to be like a hint of like pink very light pink champagne -y. and then next we have Beverly Hills which I feel like is a pretty like OG Ofra highlighter and this is the one that has the five different colors. Next, I did pick up this Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. Um, I'm not really super into powders. The only reason why I picked this up was because it's talc free. I believe that the first ingredient is mica. Yeah, so the first ingredient is mica. So I'm very curious. A lot of there's a lot of controversy over talc and how you feel about talc, but. Um, this one's first ingredient is mica, so I really want to try if there is a difference. And I feel like this has a lot of good reviews. And I do like the like built-in sifter in here that opens and closes. So I think that's great, especially for traveling. So I don't have to be afraid that it's going to get everywhere. So I did pick that up, and this was also one of those flash sales that were on sale for 50% off. So the first two hot buys that I did pick up were these Anastasia Trio Blush. And... I picked up the shade Pink Passion, which is mainly pinks, shades of pink, and also Peachy Love, which this one is more like corals, which I feel like I lean more towards corals and not really pinks. But I really wanted to give it a try because um, I feel like I don't really have a really big blush collection so i really did want to give these a try and i feel like blushes are so underrated in case you're curious here are the two blush trios this one is the peachy love like i said more corals it does have that yellow in there which i don't really know how i'm gonna use that as a blush but on your right is pink passion definitely shades of pink so i feel like it would be great for traveling so i can literally just even take both of these or just one of these, which would be great because I get three different shades. Next, I did pick up these Pure Cosmetics Pro Eyelashes. These are 3D cruelty-free luxe lashes, and they are supposed to be up to 30 wears. I do actually like these Pure Eyelashes. I feel like they are very comfortable. I am actually wearing one that I already have, and I'm wearing Bombshell on, and I really like it. It was actually on sale too. I should have picked up some Bombshell ones, but I purchased the other two ones, which are Social Light. Yeah, so this one is Social Light. And then the other one that I did pick up was Diva. This one 
it looks like they have short and long lashes in between which I feel like gives a very very pretty like semi-dramatic look like I said I do already have one on today this is bombshell and I think from all three just the three different styles I think I like bombshell the most but I do think bombshell is also one of the more dramatic ones so it really depends on your preference which you like in addition to the pure eyelashes I did pick up the eyelash glue that was on sale because mine was actually going out and this one was also on sale for 40 percent off so yeah i did pick all right everyone up. so those were all the products i purchased from altos 21 days of beauty sale so let me know which products you guys liked which items did you guys pick up if you guys did pick up any don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time bye guys